What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Gamity here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Genlock. And I hope you guys are having a fun time today. I am, too. We're going to get into this, hop right into this real quick, as we're going to make this the quickest episode we've had in a hot minute. Um, let me go ahead and pull out my Mega Swampert from the box, because, well, let's just say... It needs to be in the. It needs to get out of the box. We have an important episode today. We did decide that the Nine Tails is gonna stay in the box. Sadly, I know everybody's gonna be so mad that it's in the box, but there's a reason, and the reasoning behind that is because Machamp's been a team member for longer, and it deserves love and affection just as much as everybody else. So we're out here today, though, and honestly, we got a tough episode because we get to go all the way throughout four, and we have to fight How today. And fighting how is just scary amongst itself. Because, I know, I mean, at least we're going to go to the ranch. Um, and going to the ranch is always nice, you know. It kind of invigorates those spirits, especially before bed. But we're still, it's still in a definitely a scary position. Because we have cage match. At, oh, I didn't heal. Uh, Well, you know what I get to do <laughs> right after this? Is go heal. Um... Because we don't have a necess necessarily a good way to handle Quilladin without being able to heal. Although, we never really had a good way to handle Quilladin in the first place. Because, well, it's Quilladin. Yes, I'm eating popcorn. Don't judge. I love my popcorn. There's absolutely no way that, like, you take popcorn away from me. That's, like, my number one. Like, if, if you tell me, like, there's popcorn, I'm coming. I'm running straight to your house. Like, it's just not happening. It's, it's not not happening. It's just totally, you're going to have to deal with it. Papa goes level 20. Can you get a, a flying type move, please? Nope. Why not? Because, of course not. Am I not surprised? No. <laughs> not going to lie. I am definitely not surprised that there, that happened. So, we got to go heal, though, because I can't believe I forgot to do that. Like, literally, that's the number one thing you do. Don't forget to heal. What did I forget to do? That exact thing. But yeah, how's everybody's day been? Hopefully it's been good. Let me know in the comment section below how your day has been so far, as it, today is Friday. So, and with it being Friday, you guys hopefully have had a great day. Um, although, make sure to let me know, like, what's been the pop best part of it, because it is 12 o'clock. Let's go. Um, also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We really do appreciate that as well. Like, hitting that like button, it just... One like a day keeps the doctor away. That's that's what they say, right? You know, it's it's not an apple. It's one like. Um, and every time you like, it just fulfills gratitude. I don't know. That's not the that's not the words I was looking for. But I don't usually push likes. I don't usually push all that stuff. But I'm trying to test YouTube, okay? Because YouTube has been interesting lately. Um... And even though you guys have been killing it with the support, YouTube's been like, not ag. Because, like, you guys have been literally every single episode of the series have been smashing that audience view duration. Like, I've been looking at it. And I know I talk about this a lot, which is probably annoying. Not going to lie. But, like, you guys have been smashing it anyway. Uh, you guys have had over 40% of the video viewed like if you like if you take the video, like the average person sits there and watches forty percent of it, which is wild for like a twenty-five minute video. And I can't be more thankful of it. I can't be more excited about it. I just am confused on a YouTube standpoint of things because technically YouTube is supposed to start pushing things out, and, and it, it's especially like if you have a high click-through rate, which we've been getting about five to eight percent on this series, which is great for YouTube. Like. And the average is between 2 and 10. So we're actually above average. So with an above average click-through rate and a above average, well, like a, a, like a well above average uh, audience view duration, I'm so confused at why YouTube doesn't push it. And my guess and my only thought process would be due to engagements, which is likes, comments, and stuff like that. Because... The, the engagement rate is very low, and I need to push that. And I know it's annoying, as that's going to be a mega... Oh, the first shiny! We found her! 
Except for it's a uh, fighting type, which we can't handle very well. But we're going to pretend like we can totally handle a Mega Heracross. You know, let's just pretend like yeah, we can do that. <laughs> that's awesome. See, I was waiting for it so long. We finally found it. I'm happy. That's a, that's a good sign for today's episode. Hashtag like for the shiny uh, in the comment section below. Uh, but yeah, I like giving you like so much to work with today. It's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so... Having to fight Hal in today's episode, like I said, it does stress me out a little bit because it's not going to be an easy fight. It's And I know it's not going to be, and I think that's what's stressing me out because he's going to start to get a lot harder. It's just, it's, and we're, we're awaiting the inevitable here. And the inevitable is, well, in two episodes from now, we got a, a scary, scary, scary cage match, or a, a cage match. Why are we doing a cage match in a solo series? We have a super scary totem battle, and I don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a forceful evolve something, and that can just that can destroy the team as we've already kind of seen in action. Like that has already messed up the team in one way. Now, luckily, it didn't mess up the team in, uh, the worst way it could have, but it could have been a lot worse than it was. And I can be very happy that it was the way that it was. But having this team. And knowing that it can be completely mind-altering next episode, it's just like, it's threatening. Um, and of course, it's that's why I randomized it the way I did. I thought it to be threatening. But when it is threatening like that, it does create some thought processes of what, what bad thing is about to happen as I totally just healed, not thinking you healed me. I forget... How handholdy how is. So that was a big movie on my part. But oh, hopefully you're not too bad. Hopefully you're not gonna lead with a primal Kyogre. Um, shout out to episode eight of this series where um, we were talking about how we wanted to collab with Vinny. Oh, well, you know, that's not that much better. It's a red ice. Um, but we we're talking about how we wanted to collab with Vinny one day, and that's like a hashtag future goal. And obviously that's gotta be a hashtag future goal. Like ever into the future and then oh uh, i don't know what to do um i just kind of just go into whatever i need to um i didn't do a team recap today oops that's okay you guys know what the team is already it hasn't changed for the last four episodes so that's a positive in or that's a positive lesson in continuity um but yeah, like that goal is not going to change. We're, we're going to want to collab with Vinny one day, and if we want, if we collab with Vinny one day, that will be the day that your boy's flipping out. Um, but won't be able to say anything because we probably are going to keep it on the DL until the series drops. Um, that honestly, I can see that happening as we get burned. See, that's what happens when you crash. You just burn. Um, but. I don't know. Keeping things on the down low is very easy for me to do. It actually has never been too bad. Too much of a hard thing. Um, which is... Some people say that's great. Other people say that's terrible. Um, it's finding the mixture of both being able to keep whatever you need to keep to yourself, but also being able to vocalize and verbalize things. That's another great move, but we can't not stab... Although that one, I'll teach over Dark Pulse. I, 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 uh, no, I'll teach it over Roost. I'm never going to use Roost. I'm really never going to use Roost, actually. Roost is more of like a competitive move. Great Ninja. Oh, boy. Great Ninja could be a threat. I'm actually going to switch. Because we're damaged. We can go into Jonas. No, no, just has seismic cost. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're going to stay in then. As long as you don't have Hydro Pump, we should be fine. Like, it's level 17. I know we're burned, but like I said, as long as you have don't have Hydro Pump, we're fine. Stockpile. We good. We take that. No issue at all. No issue at all at all. Like, Storm Throw will do like 80%. Or nothing. That sounds about right. Okay, burn does three damage to us. Good to know. And it keeps going for stockpile, which makes you think you just got you only have dark moves, which 
Again, a okay with. Wow, this episode is. We're definitely gonna do a lot more in this episode than I anticipated. We've only we're only ten minutes in. <laughs> we're gonna get our encounter. We're gonna get our egg. Ooh, ooh. We can get an egg in this episode. I just thought about that. Hyperfang, that does nothing. That does nothing. We're gonna get an egg in this episode. I'm down for that. Not gonna lie, I'm very actually excited about that because that could be a game-changing egg. Um, uh, and we have quick catch on, so we can literally see exactly what it is. That might be a great place to end the episode today. I like how I'm already planning on when I'm gonna end the episode and the episode has barely even started. Um, okay, we got Zayden. Zayden can take this out. There's th four months left. We're good. We're good, right? Like, how how should not pose a threat? The only threatening player or trainer in this game is <coughs> Solarium. Um, honestly, though, that's the truth. <laughs> like, we can't speak anything but the truth here, and Solaria is literally the only scary person in this game. Like, it's just, that's just, I can't say anything that's, oh, I could have shadow sneaked. Oopies! Actually, Shadow Sneaks would have done nothing, because Quick Attack. Um, but that's still funny, that I could have literally done that. It could have actually helped. Um, actually, it might have, because we might have been faster than that. Um, what am I complaining about? Six damage. Absol. Get absolutely wrecked. Ooh! <laughs> that's a terrible fun. I'm sounding like Frank today. Like, I don't know why I'm sounding like Frank. Like, that's the one person that I really don't understand why I'm like my brain just like let's sound like Frank even though like I literally could sound like Ryan or myself because I love who I am and who I am becoming and you all should love who you guys are um <sighs> Joltek that's not a bad mon that gets wrecked by Greenbird and that's that so yeah so honestly though like love you so yeah <laughs> brain my brain's not working. Okay, that's fine. Green bird. Okay. What came in my... My brain is so used to challenge version right now. And that's actually sad. Because now you get even more wrecked by searing shot. My brain's used to challenge version. I'm like, why is my HP so low? It's almost like your Pokemon are level 40 in that game. Um, jeez. Like, they're ni I'm 19 in here. So, like, it makes sense that my... Oh, my God. That does nothing. We, we're going to stay in. It's a hit on top. Like, why would I not? Like, let's be fair. Why would I not stay in on a hit on top? Like, we have side beam. I wish we had side kick. We won't get that in this game. <laughs> I was like, we will get that in this game. Nope. I actually successfully randomized the TMs for once. Even though this is actually the one game where the TMs are, like, really good. So, whatever. Um. Well, how's dead. We, we, we pre-approved that. Um, and we are going to go ahead and get XP, get Greenbird level 20, so that's another positive. Um, level 24 is the Asynchronize. Ugh, crap. Synchronize only work. would, okay, I'm going to keep hold moves, just because that's such a niche move. It's a move that only works if it was a Psychic or Flying type. Now, if I was, like, a completely different typing, oh, 100% I would keep Like, if I was a fighting type, like, a special fighting type, which I don't even, I can't even think of a special fighting type at the moment in time, but just because there's not many, there really isn't many special fighting types. I don't really think they're actually. I will be curious to figure that out on Showdown. Um... And if you guys already know, leave me in the comment section who's a special type fighting or who's a special fighting type mon. Because, yeah, like I said, literally cannot think of one to save my life right now, which is honestly a little sad. Um, yes, I would love to rest my Pokemon. You know what I haven't found yet? I haven't found many of the, the totems, the toady stickers. I'll probably just, I'm going to be honest, I'm not even, I don't really care about the totem mods. I hate to say it, but I really don't. Like, the totem ones don't really strike me as stuff that I should realistically care about. Um, I remember having... Stop. I don't want to... I remember having stuff. Don't I have stuff? I swear I have Pokeballs and stuff. Yep. I got 20 Pokeballs and four great balls let me go ahead and buy some great balls i might as well we're going to the ranch and there's no reason not to get some great balls 
because great balls are important because they help you catch Pokemon. Ooh, wait. You These guys have TMs, don't they? No, they have different balls. Okay, well, I'm not buying those. I'm sorry. Those aren't worth it. <laughs> I'm not spending $1,000 on things I can't use. That's how I utilize life, how I think about it. Whereas I'll buy six or I'll spend six hundred on things that I can use, like oh I want to buy sixteen. Actually, I'm buying sixteen. What does it matter? I know people are gonna be like, why can't you? Why don't you just buy ten and ten? Then you'll have twenty four plus the two extra. That's like time though. That literally takes like eight seconds off of your video. Like, do you guys really want eight seconds taken off of your video? Like, don't you want me to do more stuff in the game? Like, I want to do more stuff in the game. And that eight seconds is the difference between me getting my egg and not getting my egg. No, it's not. It really isn't. But it's it could be the difference. Um, as you are going to have a um, Dedemo-O. Okay. We love Dedemo-O because we have Play Rough on Papa. And so that's going to die. <laughs> that's the beauty of Play Rough is we don't have to worry about dragon types. Like, they aren't a threat. It's fantastic. <laughs> Not going to lie. I love the fact that Kamo'o and, like, stuff like that are like, whatever, cool. Um, I also love the fact that in seven levels, the thing's going to evolve. So by the next totem, this thing's going to be a... Not this totem, but the one after. Because the one after, I believe, is 26 will be 27. Yes, it will be. It, oh, no. It's not. It doesn't go up like that. It will be 26 because it doesn't round. So, it'll be 26 and then 28. So, maybe, but but definitely by the end of the, the three trials, it'll be a two cannon. And again, only having one death so far. I want to keep it that way um, if I can. I don't think I will, unfortunately. I think something's going to die in basically every totem. Um, but I'm definitely not recording the Totem episode today, because we all know that John would be freaking out, and that's not a good thing, um, for how late it is. Because again, as you can tell, it's signing the game, because John literally has only recorded, like, one episode where it's not signing the game. <laughs> uh, but we talked to them, we actually have access to this, the sniffer of... Stoutland, but we don't want to utilize it. So, let's get our encounter, though. That I do want to utilize. Isn't there not a TM over here? No, there's not. But our encounter is a rock rough. I'm down. I can get the midday midday form. So, that'll be nice. Um, unfor Like I said, unfortunately, well, I'm down, but I can't utilize it, which is... It's... Sad in the way that I can't utilize it, but I'm honestly not mad at all. Um, which I know a lot of people will be like, why aren't you mad? Like, you should be a little upset about that, but I'm not. Like, I'm not at all, which is great. <laughs> like, that's, I love Rock Ruff. And depending on if it's male or female will depend on its name because I have two names for either gender. Or, or one name for either gender, I should say. It is a female, so I know what its name is going to be. Um, and I actually think I can catch this in a Great Ball at full health. I do. I believe I can. And if I can't, then I'm Shadow Sneaking it. Mm. I don't know. This feels like a potential. It really does. <gasps> oh my god. If you actually call something for help, I could actually use that as an encounter, depending on what it is. Pupitar. Nah, dog. Unfor we're not catching. We're not using the Pupitar. It's a Gen 2 Mon. Pupitar's gone. As much as Pupitar's a freaking pseudo legend, nah. It evolves way too late for my liking. If it, if it was like a good Generation 4 or 6 Mon, I would have kept it. But it's neither. So. But it, it is a good mon. It is a good mon. It's just not generation four or six. Um, and people are gonna be like, "What? What? What about Rock Ruff versus this?" It's like, but Rock Ruff is like a good mon. Um, I want to shadow sneak so bad. Whatever, I'm doing it. This should not kill, and if it does, that's its own fault. Yep. Okay. 
I uh, honestly like rock rough's cool, but I would have had to wake up at five in the morning, and that ain't happening, Captain. <laughs> honestly, I'm being honest. I'm not waking up at five in the morning, Captain. Um, because in order to evolve into the one that I want, wait, it wouldn't be five in the morning because it's flipped. It's flipperonied, right? No, that's why I would have to wake up at 5 in the morning. Because... I'm so confused. Wait, because it's midday form is the one that I would want, right? And so if midday form is the one I want... Oh, that's a that's a toady sticker. I literally said I don't care about the toady stickers. I'm not caring. Because if the one that I want is the midday form... Which would normally be... That's a Mega Metacham. That would have been kind of sweet. Except for I wouldn't be able to use it either. So it doesn't really matter. Um, midday form would be 5 to 6 in sun. Which means in moon it would be 5 to 6 a.m. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I was right. Because um, that's when it changes from day to night in the game. Because it's opposite. So yeah. So yeah. What if I wake up at 5 in the morning to get the one I want? Nah. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Also, what if I don't use it? What if Papa just doesn't die? I'd be very happy, actually. I'd be like, yes, Papa didn't die the entire playthrough. We kept our starter alive. Isn't that crazy that technically Papa was our starter? There is no technicalities. Papa was our... Technically, Papa was our starter. No, there's no technically there. Papa was your starter. Oh, wait. You know what? I am just going to deposit the, <laughs> the freaking Zayden already. Just because then I, I can just turn off the game with no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, like, that gives me an opportunity to do that. And if I have to train up, I'm on to level freaking 20 as well because it can add it to the team. I'll be a little, I'll be a little salty, but I'll be very happy as well. Um, but yeah, this will quick hatch. So I won't have to worry about that. Because we did set quick hatching. Oh, does he literally just. Oh, he like has a thing where he can speed up the. The egg hatches. Oh, are you kidding me? It's not going to actually let me quick catch it? Oh, quick catch is supposed to be on. Uh-oh. That either means that it's a super good mon. Yeah, it means one of two things. Either that this is a super duper good mon. Or... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. I was like, where's Quick Hatch? I swear it's supposed to be odd. Okay. So this is the last thing of the episode. And we get a... Hopefully a that we can use. The literal... <sighs> it's a mod that we can use, but it's literally the worst legendary to ever exist. <laughs> <laughs> we can use it. It's a water type. Yay. <laughs> Gosh, diggity darn. I literally, I literally have to trade this thing off to level 20 something. God damn it. Uh, yeah, we have to give you a nickname. We're going to nickname you Champion because it's kind of ironic. Uh. Woo, we got a Fionn. The best freaking mod ever. What a way to cap off this episode of the Pokemon X or the Pokemon Sun and Moon Genlock. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. We're going to check out the Pokemon before we end the episode. And we get to take off of that at least. But champion, you get to be trained up. Woo, I hope you have a good ability. Refrigerate. So it makes normal type moves, ice type moves. Okay, I can get down with that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you all so very much. You guys make my day.